Something's been bothering me for the past 22 years, and it's this. In 1998, Ash Ketchum's Pikachu defeats Brock, the rock and ground type trainer. Electric moves don't work against ground type Pokemon. For the super fans, they're gonna come at me and say, well, Pikachu's Thunderbolt set off the, the fire sprinklers and the water weakened Onix, and that's how Pikachu was able to defeat him. And you're absolutely right. That's how Pikachu defeated Onix. Sure, the water weakened him, but the Thunderbolt that set off the fire sprinklers was a Thunderbolt that literally one-shot a Geodude and there was no water present. How did Pikachu one-shot that Geodude with a Thunderbolt? It doesn't make sense. Ash's Pikachu is O-P-A-F. But how strong is Pikachu? Sunday, December 20th at 6 p.m., I will be live on Twitch playing Pokemon Yellow, and we will finally, after 22 years, answer the question, how strong Ash's Pikachu had to be to one-shot a Geodude. And on top of that, I ordered a 1999 Wizards of the Coast original Pokemon trading card game booster, which I'm excited to see open. So Sunday, December 20th at 6 p.m. at twitch.tv slash tallredbeard, we're finally going to answer what level does Pikachu have to be to one-shot a Geodude. This Sunday is my birthday, and this is basically my birthday party. So come and celebrate with me while I'm leveling up Ash's Pikachu, and we can finally get to the bottom of this mystery together. <laughs> this is so f***ing ridiculous.